Hello guys, good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on when you see this video. So I am here this morning with my little boy who you guys have not seen in a while, but he is my newest baby that I brought home last month. No, it's February 1st already. So he came home in December. So it's already going into the second month. But I believe he came what in the middle of December. So it was like right. No, actually it was the end of December. It was like after Christmas, right after Christmas, he came home. So it's a little over a month he's been home, but it's already the second month of the year. That's like crazy when I think about it. I'm already losing track of the time. It's going too fast. But anyway, so I am sitting here with him. He is trying to wake up. So I figured we would come on and do a feeding with him. I have not been on with him in a while. So I figured I wanted to change him out of this outfit. And I never did his actual first feeding where I actually sit down and feed him. So I figured I would do that this morning. Let me let you guys see who I'm holding. Just in case you don't know or you forgot about him. Say, it's me, aunties. I'm the newest boy in the nursery. And this is my little Noah Rain. And he is the Rain Sculpt by Clear Taylor Dolls. If you don't recognize him or you could be new to my channel. So that is who I'm holding. Like I said, he is my newest silicone baby, I want to say, in my nursery. He was a Christmas gift to myself, a late Christmas gift. Um, so he arrived, I think he came like that Monday or Tuesday after Christmas. I, I'm mixing up the days now. Or was Christmas on a Monday? I can't remember, but he came like a couple of days right after Christmas. So yeah, he ended up being my Christmas baby. So I am going to change this little boy today and brush his hair and feed him and chat a little bit while I'm doing all of that. So he was wearing this same little outfit that I put him in. It's the little Winnie the Pooh romper set. And I think this was his first like actual change outfit that I changed him into and he's still in it. So that just gives you an idea. Pretty much during Christmas, I kind of took a break too. And I wasn't doing as much videos that month. And um, so I got behind with changing my babies as usual. Some of them, I didn't even change them for Christmas. I had planned on doing it, didn't get around to changing all of them. So that's how that went. So we are just getting back around to this little guy. I definitely, I had planned on actually changing my Miracle Baby um, by Laura Lee Eagles, my Miracle Girl. I was going to change her next, but then I was like, no, I'm going to change him today. And then my next video, definitely it's Miracle's turn because she's been waiting since Christmas to get changed. And she still is waiting, okay? So I have to change her next. I cannot skip past her again. But for today, I really wanted to change this little boy. So I'm going to sit him here for a minute while we make his bottle. We are gonna make his bottle. We are gonna give him a bib. Cause I don't wanna drip nothing on his little outfit. Because when you use the KY liquid that I use, the liquidy one on the baby bottle nipples and pacifiers, I tend to always drip some and it gets on their clothes. And it does wipe off, but sometimes it could take a while and it, it takes long to dry this stuff that I'm talking about. So it's better to use a bib. So we have Rain by Clear Taylor, as I said. He's the Rain sculpt. And this is the bottle he came with. 
And if you see that yellow stuff in there, it is called Magic Milk. And that is what Clear Taylor puts in the bottles. And as it says, just add water. So it basically turns to look like baby formula. And I had not mixed his yet. So I figured I would do that now. Um, somebody commented on his video when I first introduced him and they said that the bottle looks dirty. What it is, this one has never been mixed with the water. So it's probably starting to get thicker and dry up a little because the mommy that had him previously to me she did not use the bottle she did not add the water so as you can see i'm now adding in some bottled water um and i'm gonna kind of fill it almost because what i noticed with this magic milk and any of my baby bottles that i mix over time they the liquid evaporates so I figured the more liquid I put in there, the longer it'll last because once I mix it, I don't open the bottle. I find that if I keep the bottle closed, it lasts longer and, you know, the liquid will last longer. So I don't open it. Once I mix them, I just leave them. So now his Magic Milk, because it seems like it's a little old now, it's not as white. And I didn't bring the other bottle I have like this from Clear Taylor. That one, the milk is way whiter than this one. It's thicker than this one. So I don't know. I might have to still add something into this to get it more milky looking. But for now, we're going to go with it. We're going to use it. So that's his bottle. So we're going to feed him with this. And I always say I'm going to look for the magic milk. Um, I've been told it's on eBay. But I never actually ordered my own to put in my bottles for my babies. I usually just um, give them lotion. <laughs> like when I make my bottles for my babies with the fake formula. I just use lotion, like white lotion, or if you have like the shea butter lotion and it's already kind of an off-white color and you just put it in the baby bottle and put water in it, that's usually what I use. If it's white lotion, then I'll put water and then I will um, mix in a little bit of like yellow food coloring or I'll use vanilla extract and give it that little off whitish color. This kind of already has an off whitish color, this magic milk. It kind of already gives that little formula look to it. So it's easier if you just buy the magic milk liquid and just add water. So I always say I'm gonna order me some, but to, to date, I've never actually ordered magic milk. And this bottle is completely sealed, so he's not a drinking wet or anything. Um, he's not actually swallowing anything. This He's a partial silicone also. I'll show his little cloth body when I change him. But he has a silicone head, silicone arms and legs, and then he's on a cloth body. He also has a silicone belly plate. So when you undress him he kind of looks like a full body because he has that little belly plate but he's a partial silicone meaning his body is cloth just like the vinyl reborns are and it's weighted and filled with polyfill and glass beads so before i go any further if you are new welcome to my nursery please subscribe if you're not subscribed already please hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I put up new videos. Please, everyone, hit the thumbs up. Give the video a like. Help my channel to continue to grow by hitting that like button. You help my videos to circulate on um, YouTube. It will, the algorithm will pick up my videos so that it will suggest for other viewers to watch my videos. The more likes it gets. And please continue to share my videos to help my channel to grow. 
the more my videos are shared, the more subscribers I get. And when I get to 5,000 subscribers, I will be doing a 5,000 subscriber giveaway and I will be painting and giving away a Vinyl Reborn painted by me and it will come with a box opening and everything. So the doll, the box opening, and I will pay for all the shipping and everything. So please continue to share my videos and thank you to all of you who do share my videos. Thank you so much. So with all of that being said, I'm not gonna try to make the video too long. So we are gonna start burping and changing this little guy. So this bottle, this nipple looks latex, but it is not. It is actually silicone. Um, it is made by Clear Taylor. So it is actually a silicone nipple that looks latex. And I do like that about these bottles because I do like that old look with the, the latex. It looks like the latex nipples, but it's not. So it is safe for your silicone babies to use and have that in their mouths and with that being said in this video i will be asking some questions that i would love if anybody has any ideas or knows the answers to <laughs> it's stuff that i be thinking about on my own or i see it on a video where someone else will talk about it and I'll be wondering, okay, I'll be like, okay, that's something new. I never heard that before. So then it has me like, hmm, type of thing, <laughs> you know? So I like to get other insight on it because although I've been collecting silicone dolls for a long time now, um, love silicone dolls. They are my first love, my first choice in collecting these lifelike dolls. I love my Vinyl Reborn dolls as well, but definite, definitely silicone is always my first choice. When I can get a doll, I'm trying to get a silicone in most cases. So anyway, and then I may have some questions with Vinyl Reborns as well. Because you just hear so much different information. Everybody's throwing out information. I even give information. And then you're like, then you'll hear some other information somewhere else. And then you're like, okay, which thing is correct? I don't know. I'm no expert. I've been collecting these dolls for like 10 years now. In November was 10 years for me, November 2023. So it's a little now into the new year, but 10 years so far. And I don't know everything about these dolls. Okay. I, I know a little something. I'll share it, but I don't I don't claim to know everything. I'm no expert. All right. So speaking of the latex bottles and nipples, I've always heard, I would say shortly after I started collecting the dolls, I heard that you're not supposed to give silicone dolls latex or rubber nipples um, for pacifiers or bottles because it will have an interaction between the rubber and the silicone. You're not supposed to mix the two. That's what I've always heard. And so that's why I assume when Clear Taylor makes these, Normally, she used to make all the bottle nipples with silicone. If they be pink, blue, or clear, and they were all silicone. This is all silicone, this nipple, but it looks it has the latex look and color, but it's still silicone. So I assume that that was true, that you're not supposed to, um, you know, give the silicone babies latex or rubber nipples. That's what I always heard. And if you're looking right there, that's my little bassinet over here. It's the bedside halo, but I have it at the foot of my bed. And in it, there's two silicone babies, Layla and Yasmin are in it. <laughs> so anyway, does anybody know as far as that is concerned? Because then I was watching someone else's video and she enlightened me and told me something I didn't know. And I wish I had brought that bottle in here, but I do not have it in here. 
but most of you know those quaddle bottles the big round bottles with those big latex nipples on them they're brown they have that nostalgic look to them they look old-fashioned um i thought the silicone dolls couldn't have those either because they're still latex the nipple and i have two of those bottles i love those bottles i love how they look i love to use them as props in my videos i'll put them near my dolls my silicones but i never put those nipples in their mouths because i thought the babies couldn't have you know the latex but someone on their video said that those nipples are 100% latex and they are safe for silicone because because they're 100% latex. So now I'm confused. <laughs> I thought any latex, any latex was not safe for silicone babies. So what do you guys know about that? Does anybody have any idea? If it's 100% latex, does that mean we could give it to our silicone babies? If anybody out there knows the answer to that. And it's those newer bottles that everybody started buying a few, maybe two, three years back. The baby quaddle bottles, those big fat bottles that a lot of us have them. And they have those big rubber nipples on them. They late latex nipples. But they're 100% latex and the, the collector and she's an artist said that you can use those with silicone. I had no idea. That is new to me. I was even thinking of messaging Claire Taylor actually and asking her that question. Because she is definitely an expert on the silicone. Usually a lot of times when I do have questions, I'll tend to um, message her and ask her. So I just might ask her, but if anybody else has any insight on that, I would love to hear your answer to that question. So that is one of the questions I had. Is 100% latex nipples safe for our silicone dolls? Um, they also have the, the latex, those rubber pacifiers. They also look very old fashioned and nostalgic. I love how they look. I don't actually have one, but now I'm thinking of getting one because she also said those are 100% latex and they are safe for the silicone dolls. But I want to, I'm going to check it with Claire Taylor first, I think, before I go spend money on that. Or I might buy one and use it as a prop, like I said, but I don't know if I'm going to actually put it on my dolls, you know, on the, in the silicone baby's mouths. But until I find out for sure from Clea Taylor, like I will tend to certain stuff. I will definitely trust to get the information from her directly. All right. So this is my little boy. This is his little belly played out. As I was saying, he has, let's see, can I put y'all more down to him? So that's his little half belly plate and it is half. It only covers half of his belly as you can see the cloth and it is not um, gender, it's gender neutral. So this could be for a boy or a girl. It's all silicone and I do love how it feels. It's so soft and it's very flexible and you don't have to really take it off of him because it's so flexible and soft. You can just leave it on him. So I do like that about it. We'll give him this honest diaper with the pandas on it. Because I have not changed his diaper in a while. So we'll give him a fresh little diaper. I don't know if I actually wanted him to put on a cloth nappy, but I did not bring him one in here. And I usually have one in my little bag here, my little organizer bag, but I took it out and put it on somebody and I didn't put a new one back in my little bag. So that's something I need to do is go through my little organizer bag and um my little caddy, whatever you call it. <laughs> I forgot what do you call these back here that I have my stuff in. 
this thing here. <laughs> they come in so handy. I have all of my baby stuff in there, but every now and then I keep taking stuff out. So I need to go back and like refresh it and put stuff back in there that I've taken out. So I need to put a cloth nappy in there because I would have put a cloth nappy on him to go under his outfit instead of this diaper. But we'll have to go with this for now. So that is him. This is a size one diaper, I think. And that's his cloth. You can see his cloth body back there. But what I do like about the partial silicones is that you can't really see the cloth body. Once you put a t-shirt on them, and especially when they have this belly plate, you can't tell that he's a partial silicone or that his body's even cloth because he has full legs and they are all silicone. And then he has full arms. I will let you see. I'll take the bracelet back off. For those who might not know what a partial silicone is, that is his arm so he has full silicone arms and i need some lotion on my hands they are so ashy forgive me because before i start my videos i always um, wash my hands and i'm constantly washing my hands anyway when i'm taking care of my granddaughter i'm using johnson's um and all of that so then my hands, by the time I'm doing a video, my hands are so dry from washing them. Like, I can't go without lotion. I try because I don't want to put lotion on my dolls. But they need lotion. They're like cracking. So, I'm going to just wipe the excess lotion on my pants to make sure there's none on the palms of my hands before I mess with the doll. So when I'm caring for my dolls, this will go, this video kind of also goes into caring for the silicone dolls. So the latex nipples is one. I wouldn't put a latex nipple in my baby's mouth. It's definitely until I find out more. Um, when I find out more on that topic, I will come back and talk about it again and see what I've learned. I don't know if there's different grades of latex nipples that they use. Maybe the regular bottles have regular or some type of mixed rubber, whereas the other ones, like the baby quaddle bottles, are 100% latex. Maybe that makes some difference. I have no idea, so I'll find out more about that. But for now, I'm going to stick to not really putting latex in my silicone baby's mouths. Um, I, I usually, once I learned that, and it's been years ago now that I found that out, I just stopped doing it. And I stuck to that all this time. Um, when I used to put the, the latex or rubber nipples in my silicone doll's mouths, I never had any reaction. Like, they never reacted in any way. But once I heard that, I just didn't do it anymore. Um, so this is his sweet little feet. He has the cutest little feet and legs. So, okay, what are we putting on this baby? The next thing I heard, what else? Anything else I needed to a correction on or insight on it? Uh... The vinyl reborns, switching to vinyl reborns. When you have your vinyl reborns, is it safe to wash their hair? Can the water get inside of their head through the little poke holes when you root them? Can water get in that? Even if it's sealed inside with the glue, can water get in that? If I was to take my vinyl reborn and wash their hair over the sink real quick, I want to rinse their hair out. Of course, you know you don't want to wet the cloth body on the vinyl reborn. But can you wet their hair, their head just to wash the vinyl reborn's hair? That's another question I have. Can the water get inside their head? I've heard people say they scared to wash their hair because water is going to get inside. I don't know the answer to that either. Um, so I have this outfit. It's called Little Bees and it's zero to three months. I cannot remember where I ordered this from. It's all knit. 
that they call it milk color. I say it's oatmeal, but they said it was milk. I don't know, but it's that pretty creamy beigey color and it has the wooden buttons going down and it's long online. The baby they had it on, they had the little legs rolled up. So it's adjustable. You can kind of cuff the little legs if it's too long for your baby. So I wanted to try this on him. I don't know. It could be too big because it is a zero to three months. I thought this was newborn size, but it's not. And then I had these booties, but I did not buy this with that together. But I was thinking it kind of matched. So I was going to use these booties with it. Or I have this little knit outfit, which came with a baby. And I never let that baby wear it. And I still have it. It's by Dimples. And it is a 000. I don't remember if that zero to three months um, is from overseas. And I forgot what three zeros mean. It could mean zero to three months. But it's like blues mixed. Dark blue, white, gray. And then the top is like mixed with um, the darker blue and the lighter blue and the white. And it has a star kimono style so then I was thinking of just putting him into this but I don't know and then I had these socks I was gonna just put socks with it because I don't have any booties that exactly I don't think that exactly match this and I hope my camera doesn't cut off because this video is getting long and I did not even get to half of the stuff I wanted to, to talk about then I could do these booties with it too. I kind of keep all of my booties. I have even way more than this. I keep them in bags so they could stay together and I could find them if I want them. Then I also have these cream ones I could put with the other outfit, but they kind of look too light for this one. They kind of look really creamy and too light. So I'll probably get the beige if I do that outfit. So I think I want to try the cream one, the beigey one. Let's try this one. And I'm going to leave his t-shirt on under this. So, yeah, that's the next question about vinyl reborns. Can you wash their hair? And when you wash their hair, has anybody ever experienced where the water kind of goes inside through the little the rooting holes? and get inside the baby's head. I've never washed my vinyls reborn hair. Like once I root their hair, I never actually went back and, and rinsed it or anything after, once it's rooted and the doll is all put together, the head is weighted and all of that with polyfill. I don't think I've ever actually went back and, and washed that doll's hair. Usually if I root a doll, the head, is empty at the time while I'm rooting it. If I want to rinse that hair, I rinse it before I put any weighting or polyfill in it. Before I put the head onto the doll and assemble the doll, I will just rinse the hair. If I want to rinse the dye out or try to rinse it a little bit, that's how I usually do it. So, and I don't, I've never paid attention to see if any of the water went inside, as far as I can think of, I don't think that the water went inside, but I don't know. These are like mystery questions with the dolls. <laughs> and people are afraid to do certain things with their dolls, but they don't actually have any concrete proof a lot of times if certain things will happen, but yet we, we pass it along and everybody's scared to do certain stuff, but... A lot of times we don't actually have the real true answer. You know, is it a threat or not? Is it harmful or not? We don't, half the time we don't even know. But yet we're afraid and we pass it along and then we scare the next person. So then they become afraid. And then you can't half enjoy your dolls because of all of these things that you be hearing. I'm telling you. So I figured I'd mention some of them. Are they truth or are they myth? Is it a myth or is it any facts to it? Um, what else? Now, as far as caring for my dolls, you can give your drinking wet babies 
alcohol in their bottle mixed with water when you do drinking wet feedings with your drinking wet silicone babies to cleanse their system, their tubing inside. That I got directly from Claire Taylor because I've heard some people say they don't want to give their silicone drinking wet babies alcohol in the water because the alcohol is going to take their pain off of their bottom when they, when they wet their diaper. Okay, according to Claire Taylor, she says it's safe um, to mix a little bit of alcohol in the water. You're not giving them plain, straight alcohol. You're mixing a little bit of alcohol. I usually don't do more than a little cap, like the alcohol cap, into, say, four ounces of water. If I, if I give Layla, you know, the alcohol mix in her water to cleanse her tubing because she's a drinking wet. About a maybe less than the cap. It may not even be a whole cap full. And that's all I put in there. I've never had any problem with anything happening to her silicone. No paint or anything came off of her bottom. Claire Taylor was correct. It was perfectly safe. But say if you have a silicone baby. And say if your silicone baby is not painted well. Or that paint is not cured well. Possibly it could make, you know, the paint rub off. So it then that would be more so you have, it would depend more so on your doll. Okay, so he has two passies. This is the one he came with and it says Rain, which is his sculpt name. And then I named him Noah as his first name and his middle name is now Rain. That could be his because it has the tiny nipple where I could put it in his mouth. Or I could give him this brown passy just for picture's sake, but I wouldn't put this nipple in his mouth. Because it's kind of wide for his mouth. It might fit his mouth, but I don't know. But it's a bigger passy. But it kind of matches his clothes. So for now, we'll give him this one. But I'm not going to actually put it in his mouth. So yeah, that's the next thing. Um... What else? Any other myths? <laughs> and what what else was I even saying? You know, I lost my train of thought right there. Oh, the, the alcohol cleanse. Yeah, so you want to be sure about your baby in particular, making sure you're not having any issues with their paint rubbing off or anything before you go and give them alcohol in their water. If you have a, a silicone doll and say they already having some issues with their paint rubbing off or peeling, then I wouldn't do, you know, alcohol cleanse with their drinking wet feeding because then you wouldn't want alcohol to get on their paint. So it, it really depends on your doll and the situation of their paint. If their paint is fine and it's perfectly cured and everything, then I don't see, as far as the experience I have with my silicone baby, she didn't have no problem with her paint coming off on her bottom. And I've had Layla, my silicone girl, for five years now. And I've definitely done numerous alcohol cleanses with her over the time. And so far I have not had any problem with any paint coming off of her bottom from doing an alcohol cleanse. And when you do an alcohol cleanse, it cleans their system out if there is any mold in there or it will prevent mold from getting in there and sitting. It'll just clear out whatever, if anything is in there, it'll it'll bring it out. Um, What else? When you're gonna powder your baby, some people just use baby powder, cornstarch baby powder. We used to do that in the beginning when I first came into the community. As long as it was cornstarch, like we would use the Johnson's cornstarch. And then after that, I heard and have stuck to and heard many times over the years that powder is not safe for the silicone babies <clears throat> because it has other stuff in it other than just cornstarch. So it may not be so safe for the silicone babies. Um, so now everyone uses matting powder. If you're going to powder your silicone babies, it's better to use pure cornstarch, the one that you buy at the grocery store, or use matting powder. 
which is made to powder the silicone babies with. It's safer if you do need to powder your doll because they are sticky or they have shiny spots and you want to powder them. Me, I don't powder my dolls regular unless they need it, like I said. If they're not really sticky or shiny, I don't powder them. So the powder that I use is when I do powder them is this one silicone finishing powder and it is by wee babies nursery on um fa she's on facebook jenny lee and i ordered this from her and i still have quite a bit in there it's starting to run out but i had this for at least five years i want to say and i still have it so you don't need a lot of it and it lasts a long time and it's made for silicone babies and it's safe and you just need you a brush um, and like I said, I use the KY liquid for the bottle nipples and pacify nipples for it to easily go in the baby's mouth. This is KY pure personal lubricant and it's water-based. It doesn't have anything in it. It's just plain water-based lubricant. That is safe for their mouths. It doesn't do anything to the silicone. When you want to clean it out, you just wet a Q-tip and wipe the baby's mouth out. Um, when you want to spray their hair, most recommended is water. But of course, sometimes you want some detangler or conditioner in the baby's hair. Then I would say spray it on the brush like you just seen me spray the water directly on the brush. And then brush the baby's hair so you're not spraying it all over the baby's paint on their face and their forehead and their ears. It protects their paint. So if you want to use a moisturizer, I use it sometimes. But I just don't spray it all over my baby like, you know, where it's going to just get all over them. I spray it on the brush. So that's just a little tip as far as that. Um, most of the time, if you have a drinking wet doll, you, some people feed their babies formula. It is normally recommended to give them water, not so much giving them formula, but some mommies want to give them formula. But my artist, which is Clear Taylor for most of my silicone dolls, recommends just bottled water in the bottle to feed the, you know, your drinking wet babies. But some mommies do want to feed their drinking wet babies real formula and fake formula that they make. Of course, it's up to you as the individual because it's your doll. Um, <clears throat> but I hear a lot of them say they rinse the doll out after they give them formula. And I see on videos where they'll give them the alcohol and water to cleanse them out afterwards. Or they give them vinegar in, um, in the like in water to cleanse the doll out to make sure that that formula does not sit in their doll and mold and rot. Um, Cause then you're gonna have a stinky silicone baby. So that's why I don't even take the chance with that. Cause I'm scared. Cause I don't want nothing to happen to my doll. So I just stick to bottled water. Um, what else? A lot of mommies just use cloth diapers on their silicone babies because they don't trust the disposable nappies. So if you, if this baby, it doesn't matter because he's a partial, but if you have a full body silicone, some mommies just stick with the cloth nappies because there's no chemicals in it. Because a lot of the, the regular disposable diapers actually have a lot of chemicals in them. They have chlorine in them. They might have different oils and moisturizers in them. So a lot of mommies don't trust um, putting the diapers on their silicone dolls, the disposables, because they feel like it's going to mess up their silicone or their paint or whatever. So if you're afraid of that happening, I would say stick to the cloth nappies. But I have over the years used regular all kind of disposable diapers on my silicone dolls and I haven't had anything happen to their paint or anything with their silicone when I've used disposable diapers but now they have so many disposable diapers that are organic 
So they don't have chlorine. They don't have all different type of additives added into them. They don't have latex in them because some of the diapers actually have latex in the, the, the disposable diapers. So they have like the Honest diapers are organic. Um, Hello Bello diapers, I think that's what they call. Those are organic. Even the Parents' Choice diapers are organic. Um, Coteri, I think it's called. Those are organic. Uh, Eco Natty is organic. Those are different disposable diapers that are safe to use with your full body silicone babies if you like the disposable diapers like I do. I like both cloth and disposable, so I tend to sometimes try to find the organic diapers that are disposable for my silicone dolls. And that, but again, when I use regular disposable diapers on my silicone babies, I haven't had any problems either. But I change their diapers pretty regular, especially on my full body silicone dolls. I don't just leave them sitting in a disposable diaper forever. I actually will go and change them. Even if I'm not doing a video, I'll do diaper changes so they're not sitting in the same diaper for too long. So that kind of keeps anything that might be in that diaper from just sitting on that silicone. So that is all I have time to discuss in this video. Um, I, I've had a few questions. If anybody know the answers to those or you have any information, you could comment below. Um, and anything else, I'll continue it in the next video. It's like so many different things. You can't fit them all into one video. And also, I use these kind of brushes, the goat hair brushes. I really like these for silicone dolls hair because these brushes are so soft and they don't pull out the silicone baby's hair. So that is another tip. And these, you can find them on, um, I got mine off of Amazon. So that is all for this video and he did fit this outfit. I love the color on him and the booties go with it. So that is his outfit of the day and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.